If you've ever wondered what MotoGP teams get up to in their weeks off between races, this is the vlog for you. So it's Saturday morning, free practice three is just about to start. I'm gonna nip into the garage and take my camera in there so you can have a look. Um, both boys went well yesterday, Scott was 7th and Josh was 19th. So this is the last session that determines whether they get through to Q2 or not. Uh, so it's quite an important session, it's just rain beforehand. We'll see you in there. We're getting towards the end of this session, there's only eight minutes left and it's really started chugging it down now. People are coming in, I'm not sure if that's Scott now, um, but that means we're going to advance directly to Q2, which is good. So, yeah, a bit of a tricky session, yeah, Scott's back in there, so we'll see what he's got to say. Good morning, it is Monday after Portimao GP. The weekend got pretty busy as it went on. There was a lot of wet weather, a lot of wind, a lot of tyre changes. So the long and short of it is I didn't get a lot of chance to film. But we had a really good weekend. It was the best qualifying both boys had. Scott qualified eighth and was really unlucky because he did a lap that was fast enough to put him third, but unfortunately got canceled because there was a yellow flag out on his lap, which was really unlucky, but I mean, eighth was still really good. Josh also had his best qualifying, he was 18th too, so the pair of them were riding really well. Unfortunately in the race, it was a bit of a gamble with the setting because they hadn't had any dry track time. So Scott's bike in the race was a little bit undergeared and he was revving out really early in the straight. So that meant he couldn't really pass anyone at the end of the straight and then that just kept shuffling him back each lap, which was pretty frustrating for him. Well, it was very frustrating for him because he could have been on for a really good result. But it doesn't matter, it was a really positive weekend. Just seeing our bike riding around with the Leopard bike, the Red Bull bike, is um, I think it's just a really good achievement in the five races that we've done. Um, and I'm chuffed to bits. I've got two more days in Portimao because it's back-to-back -back races with Jerez and if we'd flown home today, we'd have had to fly back out tomorrow. So we're just gonna stay in Portugal for two days, which is amazing. And yeah, I don't know what we're really gonna get up to yet. We've got no plan. The first job is to get breakfast this morning and then get our washing done because you have to wash all your team clothes ready for next weekend. So that's the first job. And then we'll see where the week takes us. It's not all rock and roll. It's me doing my laundry in the hotel. It's got the Italian helping me. Maybe it is. Thank you. Have the old in the middle. Thank you. So we didn't have a lot of stuff to do today, so me and Scott have come to the track to get my bicycle out of the truck, Scott's bike's in the car, and we're gonna go out cycling for the day. The truck is parked up at Portimao Circuit for two days, along with everyone else's trucks, so you can see, well actually, these are all DTM racing trucks. That's a Lamborghini truck. But over there, 
you can see this. This is Scott breaking into the truck. Over there is your pretty air trucks. I don't know who they are. And this is our truck. And my bicycle's hidden in the office. I'll hold that. Come on. Do you want me to put that ladder closer? Can you get my bicycle and then all my kits in the bottom that left? Uh, yeah. Get the bicycle first. While well, we're not racing, I've got a bit more time. This is the inside of our truck. This is Scott's office. This is where he gets changed. It's all um, packed down at the minute whilst we're travelling. There's a TV where you can watch stuff. It's got a bed where you can sleep during the day if you need to. And this is the office that I work from. We have two timing monitors, that's one and two. And then we have the racing on up there. And then this important coffee machine and stuff like that. And this is my cycling kit, so I'll get changed now and get ready. This is the cool part about GPs that I absolutely love. When you're in British Superbike, Sunday night, you go home, uh, you're back to your just normal life, whether you're working or training or doing whatever you do at your house. Uh, but Grand Prix, you're kind of on one big adventure. So these back-to-back -back races, yeah, I guess it's like a holiday because you have two days where you don't have to do anything. You're in amazing countries, the weather's really nice, and this is a really cool part of the job uh, that I absolutely love and I'm very grateful for. So I'm looking forward to going cycling with Scott. I'm also not looking forward to going cycling with Scott because I haven't ridden a bicycle on the road in, I don't know, well, I guess since last October when I was still training. And I weigh probably 10 kilos more than I did then. And it seems quite hilly around here, so I'm not looking forward to this. But next time you see me, I'll probably be a little bit worse for wear. Just finished, uh, we're doing 40k, which feels like 500 for me because I haven't ridden it in I don't know how long. It was one big climb, a yeah. brutal climb. Thank you. You feel the blood in, in coming out. Yeah, I've tasted my lungs more than I've tasted them in a long, long time. And turns out my extra weight helps me downhill. It definitely doesn't help me uphill. We've got the rest of the afternoon now, so we're going to get back. Ice cream. Ice cream, definitely. Yeah. And yeah, see what else we go up to. It's been a really nice day today. It's the first cycle I've done in quite a long time on the road. I never feel like riding on the road in England now we don't have to train because it's normally wet and miserable so it was nice to ride in the sun. And now we're going to head for some food tonight and we've got another free day tomorrow and then we head to Jerez on Wednesday. Last night there was a visitor in my room which I lost track of in the dark and I've just picked up a towel and I've found him and I don't know what to do. Look at the size of it. Nah. Nah. No, no, no. Stop. Do not move. I don't know what to do. No, go away. I'm really sorry. Oh no. 
Sono neanche te. Oh, God. Turns out the one I just found wasn't the one from last night. Here's the one from last night. In the curtains. But I don't touch it, so it's just going to have to stay there and I'll hope that it doesn't come anywhere near me. It's nice, these are. Huh? Yeah. Can you shout out your sponsors while you're here. Yeah, massive thank you to Alpine Stars for kicking me out. We're trying to sort Scott's. He's, we're giving him a glow up. He Still didn't wear much. Out the shorts and yeah. the socks and the shoes. We. Uh, <laughs> he didn't wear anything except gym kit at the start of the year because he's never been anywhere other than the gym, and now he's coming to the real world. And well, him. I've still got gym kit underneath. Oh, we were doing oh. so well. Oh, <laughs> geo. <laughs> Progress, little by little. Yeah, but it's better than... Uh, than what? <laughs> than what? <laughs> I, don't, I think no. I think it's another step. <laughs> oh, George is, is pretty Oh, fast. yeah. Hot hot stuff. Stuff. Yeah, nice. It's, it's all I own. <laughs> yeah. Next week, shoes and shorts and socks. Yeah, it was well, nice of your nan to lend you those socks. They were a quid each. <laughs> Nine quid oh, a packet. Okay. <laughs> It's like, uh, you know Jim Carrey, the actor of the movie? Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey, you do. The one with like the, sh the bad fringe or the other Yeah. yeah. It's like this. The Steve Steve. <laughs> Forrest <laughs> Gump. Ah, Forrest Gump, yeah, sorry. But that's Tom Hanks. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.